Hello everybody and welcome to another vlog. Today it's me Pierre Farrugia and we are in Mizip Woodlands. Eh? Uh, today we're going to try to explore this area because I never been here. There's a lot of uh, woodlands here. Take care because here is a natural reserve and it has its roots. One can come and do picnics here but no naked fires, no camping, no uh, uh, motor vehicles of any type so take care but I think it will be a very nice place to visit. Eh? So let's start our journey. Well, today hopefully we're going to get some good views and some quiet time. Eh? I'm going to stick for now. Like there's a main road. When you come in here, there's a metal barrier so you cannot go with the car. So everyone can enjoy here in peace. Eh? Lately here, there has been a lot of debate about this area, about permits and who, who is in charge of these areas if hunters should take care of here. But I think if we find a balance between everybody, I think here uh, everyone can enjoy this area. And I think I always say that we always can use it. Not it's legal though. I wish it could be that here it could be used for camping as well. If we do it properly. I think if we use the no the leave no trace concept here it will work maybe we cannot do fires maybe the maximum we can do you can use a stove a gas stove and nothing more this is where we're coming from and here the views are very nice eh? today it's sunny little bit windy but nothing big and with a light long sleeve shirts till now i am good eh? Remember that I've never been in this area, so I'm exploring this area with you. But look how nice if you go. There are places, let's check these places out there. Oh, this is nice. Maybe if we can explore inside here, it's better than the road. Because there's plenty to see. I don't know what these pellets are for. But look how nice, eh? At least we are in nature, and this is, I think, like Busquet, one of the biggest woodlands in Malta. Eh? Because in Malta we don't have so much trees. I am following a path here. We always try to keep to certain tracks so we don't destroy all the vegetation that there is in this area. So. And I hope that I don't get lost eh, today. Remember, Malta is very small, so getting lost is not something that easy. Here one can hear the sound of birds, which is very relaxing and nice. The radiation is a little bit denser, so you don't see actually the directions where you're going if you don't take care. Although if you look to the, through the grass here, you can see many bypass are from here. So I don't think one can get lost here. But there are many, many bears eh? here, yeah. which is very good. I'm here. But look uh, from here, how nice it is. Beautiful, eh? Until now, we didn't encounter nobody here. Here, somebody looks that uh, has done a major fire. And I think here, it's a little bit crazy to do this. So big fires here. And here it looks uh, that it opens up a bit, uh, the tray. Remember that here, you cannot do barbecues, you cannot uh, fires, no camping. No motorcycles or somebody did another fire here. Yeah? Take care, eh? because these things make more rules and more hassle. I always think that uh, sometimes fire can be done in some certain places, but in contained uh, metal cans like they do abroad, 
and provided by the state eh? or by the park. Eh? Yeah, we are walking in a like a road, much wider again. Everywhere you look, there's trees, which is beautiful. And I think here yeah, we'll continue. It's like a road. And here, look. I think that's the road that I was coming from before. And here we are moving that side. Here we can have a good look of the valley again. That is the bypass there. And now I will get to the center again because now I'm at the edge of the valley and cliffs. So I will move back on this side. Uh, if one walk in this road, it's a gravy road. I think you can enjoy yourself uh, the same eh? because it's nice and uh, in nature. So you don't have to go to side paths to go more extreme paths, although here everywhere looks flat. It's good for everybody today, everybody, because if you walk slowly here, it's fairly smooth. And uh, everywhere you look, uh, it's full of trees uh, here, how nice it is. And if you come like me during the week, it's very relaxed. And yeah, there's nearly nobody here. These, I think, are uh, like hunting platforms, which I don't like. Eh? Besides, I believe everything is this. Or we do all these platforms and they are not in good taste as well. They should be done a lot better. But to be fair with uh, hunters, they did a lot of good stuff eh, here by cleaning, planting trees, because uh, that's the way, good way to go forward. We don't all have to say the bad, we have to say everything. But now let's wander a little bit here to check this place. Because uh, it looks very nice. Uh, full of trees, there's this small part. I'm following. Here to come here to make a picnic with your family. Beautiful. Eh? Hope you are enjoying this lovely track here. Uh, I'm more used to go on the cliffs and uh, where there's sea. But being in nature like here is very nice. Eh? But now the trail is much narrower and more rugged eh, than we were before. Although, nothing difficult, eh? everything is nice, eh? yeah. I'm trying to guess where the trail is. Or... Here we did find the trail again, or... and it's very nice to walk on, it's smooth. Today I have to say, we don't have those beautiful views as many places give us, but you are in contact with nature eh? here. And maybe some people don't like when we are, and they tell me as well, they don't like when I'm on the cliffs, at the edge of cliffs, so here is another option for the family. Yeah? And it's very nice. From this high vantage point, uh, it's used for hunting. One can have a look at the view. The smell is there. We are very high. You can see even the cliffs, their places, and look how nice it is. Beautiful, eh? So now, I will be turning back to where I came from, so I will try to explore the other side. But now I'm back, like in the main uh, gravel road, and we are walking to the gate. So when we find the gate, we cross the road and we go to the other side of the park here at Mizip. And now I made it to the gate where I started and uh, here I did half of the park because now uh, there is uh, no cutting of trees, no littering, no fire, no vehicles, no bright lights, no loud noise, do not dismantle rubble walls, so uh, picnic area. Just so we have to cross this street and go to the other side and continue in the other half of the park. Eh? It's not a small park, eh? 
and I'm sure I will not do it all because I'm sticking to some trays here. But it's very interesting eh? and nice. Here we find another gator to stop cars from going in. And there are some picnic tables eh? here. Is a one can pass from this side there eh? and continue this walk. Eh? This is very nice here. I like it. I will come here for a picnic with Cherry for sure and leave everything clean. Eh? Look huh? how nice this table is here. But you can ask for more here. Eh? Beautiful, eh? clean. Lots where you can walk uh, safely. From here, uh, we can see the other side of the valley. Uh, we have the sun going down. Uh, but look how nice uh, it is here to walk in. I don't know why I like more this side than the other side already. Fortunately, we'll find people who do this stuff. Uh, Picnic area, say picnic area as well. But it's nice eh, here. I'm seeing many people here come to walk their dogs, which is a very nice place to come. But this area is very nice, I like it. It's really, really nice. Eh? Now, let me show you. It's like walking in a forest. Eh? I like this area, look how even how the trees are. Eh? It's nice and with the sun coming through the, the trees there. Eh? It's nice. The more I walk in this area, the more I like this side eh, of this uh, park. It looks more, I don't know, it looks more beautiful this side. And there are no big roads inside here. Apart from this one, it's not an actual road. Or, but look how nice this area is. It's a very enjoyable walk eh, to come here. And you can, you have a parking there where you can park your car. So it's somewhere, something for all the family eh, here. Remember who comes here, take care of this area so as I always say, leave no trace. I come here and I found it clean. And you should, the same, come here and leave it clean. And you should come here and find it clean as well. Because if some, if everybody, I, I say it again, makes the leave no trace principle, you come here every time, it will be the same. No rubbish, no nothing. As it is now, which is something very nice, eh? and this is a nice walk. Eh? I walked on that side and this side. There are some trees that fell down. Eh? Here we find this tree, eh? which we can easily walk through. But the most beautiful thing about here is the silence and the quiet of this place. Eh? It's a really, really beautiful place. Eh? You have multiple tracks you can walk on. I don't think you can get lost in here. More so, here it's less likely because it's uh, plain sailing. You have the path and you are walking in it. Eh? Look this part, how nice it is. Eh? It's a beautiful track eh? to come here. And there's even people with bikes. Eh? with pedal bikes, or not motor bikes. It's a very, very nice area. And I think I have to stop here also. I'm seeing some rubble walls. But from here, maybe we get a good view of the valley below us. It was really, really a nice place. Wow, look at the view from here. Nice, eh? It's a really, really beautiful area. Where did it to come here? Maybe it goes uh, a little bit more, but today I will stop here. Hope you enjoyed eh, this vlog. Another 
beautiful Maltese place. Eh? We, we came to an end to this vlog, hope you enjoyed Mizzi Puddlands, it's a very very beautiful place and it's good for all the, the family, look how nice and the tranquility of here, full of birds. Uh, please like and subscribe and if you have any experience or maybe more uh, features of this place, please comment below. If you want to help me, I'll always subscribe and until next time, bye bye and now. I have to head back, which is not a problem because it's a very beautiful place. Eh? So, bye.